Do you want to lay here while I make this video? You totally can. You can just stay right where you are, okay? I'm going to move again. Hi, Libra. Welcome to your June reading. As soon as I started the video, my son decided to come outside and lay down. And the guy next door decided that he was going to become a fucking woodworker and start using a circle saw. So, you know, vibes. Welcome. Oh, you're going back? John Luke 4? Yep. Come Love here, you. come here, 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 come here. Thank you. Yeah? Should we start? Let's see if fucking Circle Saw over here comes to his senses too. All right, Libra, let's do this. We got a beautiful sky, it's a beautiful day. And today we're talking about the mirror that is Gemini season. So for all of us, this season acts like a very clean mirror that our energy bounces off of. And the things that we find the most important are the things reflected back to us, perhaps in a way that's uncomfortable, perhaps in a way that is confrontational to our beliefs and the things that we want to think about ourselves. So how does that work for Libra? Let me give you some examples. The way that works for Gemini's is that Gemini sees its own reflection and runs. It's like, oh, no, 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 the last thing I want is that accountability. I, I, don't, I don't like this. Cancer sees its reflection and wants to claw at it. It wants it. It wants it to do as it wants it to do. Leo sees its reflection and thinks, oh, oh, okay. Can I, can I just, can both of us take the spotlight? Virgo sees its reflection and says, oh yeah, mm, should floss more. Also, am I working hard enough? Is, the, is my hairline receding? Libra looks in the mirror and sees all that effort and all that goodness that is put into your connections with others. Now, how can that be troublesome? Well, one of the things that Gemini season does for Libra is it brings that relationship sector, this interpersonal relationship sector to the forefront. And that's not always comfortable. It makes you examine a few things. One, which I'm always getting at you, you know, getting on you about, which is being liked. Gemini season is going to throw some curveballs at you that make you um, they make you reassess how much importance you give to the way you're perceived. And the way out of this pain of perception of whoever is saying whatever that's making you feel this way whatever circumstance it is that's made its way into your reality that's making you feel the weight the uncomfortable weight of personal connections not the part that makes you happy and you know full of life and gives you energy because it does that's where you draw your energy from is your connections with other people and the love that you share with other people but what happens when that ex that thing that gives you so much energy becomes the source of a lot of pain what would be the point of that well here very clearly we see that the point is to get you past it. I suppose the thinking is if the thing you're holding on to so tight as being defining of your identity, what if that particular aspect were to cause you pain instead? Would that motivate you to perhaps look for a deeper meaning of self? Or would that perhaps prompt a deeper reflection on your connections with people and where within those connections do you draw your worth and value from is it simply from people feeling a certain way about you or thinking about you a certain way is that enough is that what you really long for is just that acceptance that amicability between people or is it something more um because perhaps up until now that has been enough but it's not anymore is it Perhaps because of a terrible situation, someone saying something or doing something that you're like, I thought, I didn't do anything. This has nothing to do with me. Like, why am I getting the stray bullets here off of like your fuck shit? Like, either it's that, in which case the advice is very simple. The advice is very simple. You've got to walk, you know, especially if it's a situation where you feel like, whomever you're dealing with, whatever you're dealing with, it's like more than like, m more than too many people involved. It's just, it, it's spiraled out into something that has nothing to do with you basically, right? Which is how social 
environments go like something happens and then it becomes not just your thing now it's everybody's thing now it's out there in the ether it doesn't belong to you anymore even if it's about you right so you may find yourself in that space where it's like there's so many people involved in my fucking business like this isn't supposed to be how friendships are this isn't supposed to be how my social life is like i'm i'm a social butterfly i'm good at this i'm you know i know how to look good i know how to talk good i know how to I know how to move good. Like why, where's my power? And your power is right here. And the good thing is that this feeling that you're having, this confusion, this dread that you're feeling surrounding connections by you know having it reflected back to you in this really way too honest mirror that is Gemini season. And what is that mirror saying to you? All these connections, all this effort that you put in, did it give you the power you were looking for? Or when it came down to it, did those people turn on you? All that effort, all that energy, all that care, all that consideration that you've put into people for so long, did it actually help you? Did it actually give you any power or did it at every turn take power from you? And that's a question that's very hard to answer because it strikes at your identity as a Libra. Like, okay, but sometimes things are up and sometimes things are down. You know, and Gemini season's like, I'm not asking you if things are up or down. I'm asking you about your power. I'm asking you how strong you feel. Do you feel strong? Do these connections make you feel strong? Have they up until now fed you or is that just a lie you've been telling yourself? Because now that those connections are starting to go a bit awry, where's your power? If you're drawing power solely from your connections and relationships to other people, i.e. your image and how they see you, because the person they have a relationship with, and let's really get into it. If you really want to get into it, let's get into it. The person they have a relationship with, all these people that think they know you, all these people that you know, flit all around you and want something from you and want a little bit of your magic and want a little bit of your popularity, want a little bit of your beauty. All these people, they don't really know you. They don't. I have a very, very, very close Libra relative and I'm telling you, nobody knows you guys. We know the perception you want us to believe about you because it's very curated, it's very particular. You put it out there in a very pleasing, presentable way and we eat it up. But you and I both know that we don't know you. So when these connections start to dissolve, when this pain starts to come in, when this unfair behavior, when this chatter, when this gossip starts to cloud everything up, when the talk on the street is not kind, can you make that switch in your head where you say that stuff is being said about my alter ego, that person that I showed to everybody out here, that's not really about me. This doesn't actually touch me. And Gemini season will say, and that Gemini mirror will go, exactly. That's what I've been trying to tell you. If something goes wrong with that avatar, that's okay because it's not who you are. Who you are is much deeper, much more traditional, much more focused. And it doesn't really, to be honest, give a fuck what people are saying. That's who you really are. So even though it comes at it a little bit weird, the mirror ends up hyping you. It actually wants to reinforce the authenticity in you. And perhaps that is the bigger conversation. When society around you that has given you such a push and has propped you up for so long, when it's not there to catch you, can you catch yourself? Can you yourself extricate yourself from the image, the alter ego that you've created long enough to stand up on your own feet and not need these connections and not need society to back you? Can you can you stand straight up on your own, not the avatar that needs the society behind it? As you do, right? A fucking prop plane? As you do, as, you, as one does. Um, is Denmark where are they going I mean respectfully like what the fuck is happening in Denmark like literally a mili military helicopter in like a beach town area okay never mind I'm just moody but can you yourself extricate the authentic you 
from the avatar that has this entire support system behind it. Now, you've never really had to think about this because this support system means everything to you. What do you mean? Like, I pray that everyone has a support system like me. What do you even mean? No, it's too bright for that, right? What do you even mean? Like, I love that. But now that it's starting to show the cracks, now it's starting to show that it's not always gonna be propping you up. Now you're like, ooh. Do I keep being this person that I'm not really, I never was. Sorry, I washed my hair, so it's like kind of crazy. It'll be normal in like six days. Literally, that's how long it's gonna take to calm down. Do I keep feeding into, it's a beautiful lie, you know, it's a very palatable lie. We all love the lie, we are romanced by the lie, we fall in love with the lie, but do we stick to the lie? Do we keep? seeding the lie only to have it now that you know now that you know it's different when you just think it right now that you know that this avatar it, it doesn't always work it has holes in it this doesn't always hold up do you want to keep pouring everything you have into this externality or is there now a moment for you to go really deep and and make that you know, distinction between this is the alter ego that I show the world and it's not who I am. And this is who I really am. And this I keep solely for myself because it is the source of my true strength. And that way you finally lose that, you know, that desperation and that clinging and that need for approval and that need for acceptance, right? Which is something that perhaps you've never even thought about like why would I need to do that why would I ever need to detach but when things within social sectors and when things within your support system start to rot and you start to see it and you start to see the unfair aspects of it perhaps that's just the push you need to finally see past this like rosy you know misconception that you've had for a really long time I think Libras are perhaps the sign that has the most trouble with this concept of dunya. Dunya is a Muslim concept. Dunya is an Arabic word for the world. But it doesn't mean the world the way you would think. It means like the material world, the world that means nothing, the world that is, you know, maya. It's an illusion. As the Indians say, um, it, is, it is a grand illusion. It is a grand dancing illusion. But an illusion nonetheless. And so... The Islamic view of this is that the more you are attached to the dunya, the more you are attached to the world, the more it will hurt. Um, because the dunya is designed to hurt you. Uh, and to teach you non-attachment through that pain. So Libras are the sign that I feel is the most attached to the dunya, but not in the material way. Not in that, you know, you need stuff. But it does translate to that sometimes. You guys do like stuff. But it's more than that. It's... You genuinely love people and you love life and you love connecting with people and you love society and you love social and you love friends and you love you love having a great reputation. You love having, you know, cultivated a beautiful reputation. You love working hard. You love looking beautiful. Like these, all the things that go with the way you show up in the dunya, you love it and you're so good at it, which is why you would never think that there was anything negative about it, which is why Gemini season is so important because there is so so many things that we really love that are super bad for us and if moments like this don't happen you'll never see it right does that mean that you can't once you've extricated authentic self from this avatar does that mean you can't still enjoy the world and the dunya of course you can still enjoy it but it will no longer be the same the source of your strength and that's really important right because no matter how bad you feel in the moment for things not going the way that you want them to go and for having this like deep feeling of like things turning on you that is still preferred in terms of having a relationship with this illusion that is still preferred over a blind love of the of of the material because whether that blind love of the material comes to you because you're a Capricorn and you just love stuff or it comes to you because you're a Cancer and you just love telling people what to do or it comes through, you know, Aries energy, which is just like, I want to make it happen or it comes through Libra, which is I like these people. 
I, the dunya, material, nah, I can take it or I can leave it. Exerting my will on other people, ah, I could take it or I can leave it. Making things happen, nah, I could take it or I can leave it. But look at all these beautiful people. Look at all these personalities. Look at all these options. Look at all these different lives being lived. And, and I get to be a part of them and I get to, you know, it, it, grow myself through these experiences like your love of the dunya in a way is really innocent it's not jaded it's not cynical it's not about greed but it is still being attached to something that is designed to teach you a lesson and hurt you as beautiful as it is i mean come on look it's beautiful but it is designed to hurt and if you're hurting right now the way you can use your pain so productively right now it's quite impressive actually you can finally create a switch that you haven't had until now. And you know what that switch is going to do? You know what? Putting your authentic self outside of this avatar, you know, and like pulling the two apart, you know what it's going to do? It's going to create a little cushion. It's going to create a little psychological cushion for you, a self-esteem cushion for you. So when this um, game, play, game player, right, this game character ha goes through adversity, you are able to fall back not on a support system, not on a bunch of people, not on a society, but literally onto your real self. And your real self is there to be like, none of this means anything. This is all a test. This is all designed to hurt you. Don't take it so personally. You know who you are. Regardless of what people say, regardless of how people are viewing you in the moment, you know who you are. They don't. They don't because all they ever see is the avatar anyway. But fuck them. Who cares? You can't be fooled by your own avatar. You need to know that there's two of you. And the sooner you become comfortable with that, the sooner your life gets a little easier, a little bit softer the way that it used to be. I think what happened with Libras is that you poured everything into something and then didn't know how to pour back out. And you've been in this like strange stasis until then, you know, since then, like, I don't have anything more to pour. I, I'm empty. I don't know how to get full again. I don't know. I just assumed that if you poured into someone or something that they would pour back into you. And now I just feel tricked and hurt and confused. And I feel like the world is picking on me because what the fuck? Yeah. But only to teach you something. You think you need all these things that you never needed. You're just so gentle and so beautiful that you... You believed it. They wanted you, they needed you, and they told you that you needed them and you believed it. And you gave them everything. And they gave you what? Like sand in your mouth. So, what do we do? Do we cry? Do we get upset? Sure, if you want to, you can. And when you're done with that, you're going to look around and you're going to realize that this beautiful, gorgeous, fantastical, magical construct is designed to hurt you. For your good to teach you a lesson that perhaps is the hardest for you. But I promise you, when you do finally let go, there is a power in you that unleashes. When you truly don't care anymore, which is what these particular catastrophes that are happening right now are designed to get you to do. When you truly don't care anymore, how you are perceived because you are so clear on your own perception of self. Things change. People change. The hurt lessens. And people's audacity also lessens. They can feel it off of you. Don't worry, you'll still be sweet and nice and beautiful and all those things. All the things we all love. But you won't be complacent. You won't be a doormat. Not that you are now. I'm just saying you won't, you won't lay down and take it. Nor should you. 
I, n I know how gentle you are in spirit, but I've seen the other side of you. You're all steel inside when you need to be. And perhaps as this dunya has been hard with you, perhaps it's time for you to be steely right back. At least long enough to cut the cord uh, between you and what you think sustains you. So you can find what really sustains you. So you can find who's always been on your side. Do you know how much I love you? I love you so much that I can't talk about it. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay? Let's look at these cards.